when I met the Dalai Lama in 1992, he asked me, why have you been using the tools of modern neuroscience just to study anxiety and stress and fear and depression? Why can't you use those same tools to study kindness and compassion? And it was like, whoa, just a total wake up call for me. One of the first ways in which we decided to begin was something that His Holiness encouraged us to do, which is to test individuals who spent years training their mind. These people uh, have spent on average about 34,000 hours of lifetime practice. And so we were looking for signs in brain electrical signals to ascertain whether those signals, when individuals are actually meditating, showed anything unusual. And what we found was remarkable. Gamma is a brain rhythm that is occurring at roughly 40 cycles per second. And in the brains of the advanced Tibetan meditators, we found the presence of these gamma oscillations that went on for tens of minutes and they were very high amplitude. The brains were also significantly different when they weren't meditating. And these differences reflect the enduring traces, if you will. And it gives us some clue that in fact, the baseline state of these individuals is transformed as a consequence of their practice.